Hey folks, this is Kevin Knebel in beautiful Monument, Colorado at 7,500 feet of elevation looking out my home office window at the beautiful Rocky Mountains. And thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your busy day to watch this Schweiky Media webinar on how to best use LinkedIn's alumni feature for different purposes. Just real quick, I'll let you know who I am. I'm an international speaker and author. I live in Colorado, but, but I'm rarely here. Uh, typically, at least once a week, I'm somewhere else in the world, either in the United States or internationally, speaking, presenting, coaching, training, uh, delivering presentations, workshops, keynotes at different conferences, company events, things like that all around the world. And I've been doing this for about 11 years. I've been doing it for a long time. LinkedIn launched actually back in May of 2003, Cinco de Mayo, way back then, and I threw just dumb luck. I got on LinkedIn within 60 days of the launch way back in 2003. So I've been doing this for 11 years and about six months, a long time. So there's a lot of um, a lot of different features on LinkedIn, and we've covered a number of these features through the Schweiky uh, Business Builder series. And um, today we're going to cover a feature that a lot of people are unfamiliar with, but I've helped a lot of people generate a lot of income, also secure jobs, also get referrals. And, uh, and drive sales through the LinkedIn alumni feature. So right now you're looking at my LinkedIn homepage. And this is, I'm sorry, not my LinkedIn homepage. You're looking at my LinkedIn profile. And this is me here with my funny picture of me looking at the book that I wrote, a little back Colorado background here. When you put your cursor over these um, things up on top of LinkedIn, a lot of these become drop-down menus. So when you put your cursor over connections, there's a drop-down feature here called Find Alumni. So let's click on that. When I click on that, LinkedIn automatically looks at my LinkedIn profile to determine where I have gone to school because LinkedIn is at its core a database. And when you put information onto LinkedIn, just like when you put information onto Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all these other sites, um, the algorithms are gathering all this data. So LinkedIn knows where I went to school because it's in my LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn knows that I went to Montclair State University. I actually went to three different colleges. Don't read into that that I'm all that smart. I'm a couple fresh short of a Happy Meal. The way I looked at it, I couldn't really, you know, maximize my knowledge in one college. It took three. So I actually went to Montclair State University, and I only went there for a little while. But here you can see that as soon as I clicked on that Find Alumni feature, LinkedIn automatically went out to over 300 million LinkedIn users worldwide to find anybody who has Montclair State University in their profile. And apparently, there are 50,031 people on LinkedIn who have Montclair in their profile. Now, that's helpful information, but I'm going to go a little bit deeper. Here where it says Attended. I'm going to put in the years that I went there. I only went there from 1989 to 1990. I only went there for one year. And if you notice these numbers, LinkedIn is now going to resort these numbers. And it just found 3,696 people. Now, why is this important? Well, it could be important for a couple different reasons. You know, in a more and more interconnected, over-caffeinated, hyper-competitive Mach 5 with your receding hairline on fire, crackberry, blackberry type world, you know, it's not always so much about your expertise in your chosen profession. I'm going to assume you're already very good technically at whatever your chosen profession is. Let's just assume that. You're a 10th level ninja sensei at whatever you do. But in a more and more interconnected world, more people are figuring out something that's always been true, but now it's becoming even more true. People do business with and refer business to people who they know, like, and trust. This is not about manipulation. This is not about being slick or salesy. This is about creating and nurturing relationships. And that's not a kumbaya group hug moment. And I'm not suggesting we all go outside and sit around a crystal and hum. But it is true, this isn't a motivational speech, it is true that you and I both know people that are technically proficient at what they do for a living. But if we know somebody else who's technically proficient and has the interpersonal or the relationship skills of a speed bump, and we know somebody else who's technically proficient, and they're just a joy to work with or to interact with, we're probably going to work with the person that's a pleasure to interact with. Now, I'm oversimplifying this, but what I'm suggesting is that not only should you understand the basic bells and whistles of social media, but you want to go back old school 
And you want to remember that at the end of the day, it's really all about relationships. It's all about being able to communicate effectively and have people want to do business with you. So here I can see that there are 3,696 people on LinkedIn who have two, at least two things in common with me. Number one, they went to the same school I did. Number two, they went at the same time as I did. Again, we're not soulmates or long-lost friends, but I have identified a couple thousand people that I already know have something in common with me. Now, LinkedIn will also show you where these people live. So I live south of Denver, so if I went down here to Denver and I clicked on this, it would pull up the 13 people, and I'll do it in a few seconds. It also shows me where they work. Well, I work with a lot of individuals, and I work with a lot of organizations that are trying to do business with particular organizations. I work with a financial advisor in the St. Louis area who has a lot of AT&T employees as clients. Well, when I showed him how to most effectively use this tool, he was a mosquito in a nudist colony of opportunity because it's actually showing you where the people work. It also shows you what they do. So I have many clients that work in particular niches. If you're looking for dentists in upstate New York, it's very easy to find people in healthcare or hospital care or medicine in, in a particular geographic region. It also shows you what they studied in school. There might be some rapport building there too. Also what they're skilled at and ultimately how you're connected. So I'm gonna go a little bit deeper and say, let's say that I, I'm, again, I'm saying that it's all about rapport. So if I went down here to where it says Denver, I'm clicking on this and it's pulling up 13 people. So now I've got 13 people that I have th at least three things in common with. Same school, same years, same geographic region. Again, as I go through this example, I want the wheels in your head to be spinning, thinking about ways you could leverage this because there are many ways you could leverage this. And here I can see again where these people work, what they do, and then the other parameters too, what they studied, what they're skilled at, and how I'm connected. 13 people, and ultimately LinkedIn will actually show me the 13 people. Now the question I often ask people when I'm showing this to them live is, am I stalking? And the answer is no, I'm not stalking. I'm looking at the information these people want me to see, that's why they put it on their profile. Well, I'm going to click on somebody here who I've never met once in my life. I have never met this man once in my life, Harvey Bierman. And I can see it looks like he went to Paris. I can see that uh, he's the VP of e-commerce at Crocs, the shoe company in Boulder, Colorado. I can see how he summarizes what he does, how long he's worked where he works. I can see how long he used to work where he used to work. The more information I see on his LinkedIn profile, the, easy, the easier it's going to be for me to approach him in a way that's not slick, salesy, awkward, or creepy. I can see he worked at Timberland, which is a shoe company up in New Hampshire. And this looks interesting. I can see that he actually worked at Ski Barn, which is a chain of ski stores in the New Jersey area, which I grew up in New Jersey. Here's something interesting. This is the town my mother grew up in, Little Falls, New Jersey. I remember going into the Ski Barn store in Little Falls, New Jersey around 1990 and buying a pair of ski boots. According to this, I could have potentially bought these ski boots from this man. This is another fascinating thing about social media is that it starts to show you information that there's just no way in the world you could ever know prior to social media unless you were psychic. I can see he likes psych soccer, I like soccer. I can see he went to Northeastern. I can see he went to Montclair. Well, we know he went to Montclair because that's how we found him. We can see he likes to ski, and we can see that he does not know how to spell the word athletic. Now, I'm not trying to be a critical jerk. I'm just pointing out a spelling error. Now, if I go back up to the top, I can ask myself, is this somebody that I would want to create and nurture a relationship with for whatever reason? And if I wanted to, I could click Connect and I could reference the fact that we went to the same school and put in a personal message, or knowing that LinkedIn is all about three degrees of separation, I can see that he's a second degree connection. I could scroll down and see who do I know that knows him. Apparently I know six, seven, eight, nine people that know him. I could click get introduced, open up those nine people to see if I know any of these people well enough that I think they would be comfortable forwarding a message for me to him. Tommy would definitely fit that description. This is an amazing woman, incredible entrepreneur. She helps a lot of people 
uh, start businesses and become very successful as entrepreneurs. She's actually had me speak on her stages in the past, so I've helped her generate revenue. So I could very easily type a message here, hey, Tommy, could you please forward this message to Harvey? Thanks a lot, Kev. And then I could type a very non-slick, non-salesy message to Harvey, extending my hand in friendship. And then I could forward that. Tommy would probably forward it on to Harvey, and I would be connected. Now, I went through that kind of quickly because these webinars are designed to be fast. But what I'm really showing you is I'm showing you that when you use this advanced alumni feature or this alumni feature, you can really find some very interesting information. Now, here when I go to find alumni, I could also do it not necessarily from where I went to school. I could do it for any school if I wanted to do it. So if I wanted to type in, I want to find people that went to uh, Rutgers. I want to find people that went to Rutgers, and I want to find people that went to Rutgers at a certain time, and I can put in uh, LinkedIn's acting a little weird. Let's just refresh that screen. And if for whatever reason I wanted to use certain years, I could do it. So it's not just my school. I could literally go into any school I want to go into, and I could mine through the data. But let me show you one more thing before we wrap this up in this Find Alumni feature. We put in Montclair State University. We put in 1989 to 1990. And we pulled up a total of, let's refresh the screen, 1989 to 1990, 3,696 people that I have two things in common with. Now, knowing that salespeople will get what I'm about to explain a little bit better probably than non-salespeople, it's, it's easier to build a relationship when you have something in common, and the easiest way to build rapport is to find something in common. So personally, I love skiing. So right now I've got 3,696 people. Well, do you see this box right here, search this set? If I type skiing in here, it's going to search these 3,696 people for anybody that has the word skiing in their LinkedIn profile, 41 people. Now I have found 41 people on LinkedIn who went to the same college I did at the same time I did who have a similar interest to me. It would be so easy for me to extend my hand in friendship and say, hey, and I fit the parameter, there I am, that's why you're seeing me there. But you, I, it would be so simple for me to extend my hand in friendship to, our, to Arla here, say, hey, Arla, I was cruising around LinkedIn. I came across your LinkedIn profile. I happened to notice we went to the same school at the same time, and we both like skiing. I'm all about paying it forward. I'd love to prove it to you, and I can open up and create a relationship. Again, I'm doing this quickly because of the time parameters of our webinar. But this one feature that I'm showing you right now, I have helped my clients generate millions of dollars in increased revenue. I've helped my clients create strategic alliances, network partnerships, all kinds of wonderful business outcomes, secure jobs. Um, I've probably got a couple people married, too. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. So it's, uh, there's a lot of ways that this can be used, and I hope that you're finding this helpful. If you want to go to my website at kevincanevel.com, you can sign up for my free newsletter and get tips on a regular basis on how to use social selling and relationship marketing and social media in general, how to combine old school relationship, interpersonal networking and sales skills with new school communication technology such as LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and things like that. And if I can ever help you in any way, I'm extending my hand in friendship and saying I would be more than happy to help you. Also, please feel free to send me an invitation to connect with me on LinkedIn and mention that you watched this webinar, part of the Schweiki Media webinar series. I have over 19 million, I don't know what I have, 19, 19,000 first degree, 28, 29 million third degree connections on LinkedIn right here. So when I accept your LinkedIn invitation, it's going to automatically um, connect you with about five or six million people. Just mention to me when you send me the LinkedIn invitation that you heard of me on the LinkedIn, on the Schweiki Media uh, webinar series, and I'm happy to help you any way I can. Certainly connect with me on LinkedIn. Please feel free to sign up for my newsletter. And on behalf of the Schweiki Media Business Booster Building Master of Time, Space, and Dimension webinar series, uh, I'm extending my hand in friendship to you and thanking you for your time. I wish you the best, and God bless. Take care.